Welcome to the Billy Ho Forecast Show. Please subscribe and like the video. Remember, the more you share, the bigger we grow. Now, let's go! Hello, Billy Ho here. RBC Heritage is set to kick off tomorrow morning at 7.10 a.m. on your number one tee with Cam Young, Davis Riley, and Sahith Tagala. That's a really good group. I like that one. The weather doesn't look bad enough uh, to go stacking either way to me. I, I do like the a.m. each day, Thursday and Friday, for showdown because it looks – like really humid, like low dew point, but the humidity's 87 to 95% or something like that. So it's pretty uh, pretty soft scoring conditions there. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you're going to see the Thursday and Friday weather, weather reports across your screen. And as far as ownership goes, uh, it doesn't really look too outrageous. Uh, I would... Uh, I wouldn't let it sway you one way or the other. Uh, the top 10 owned that I see right now, uh, and this is just me kind of putting the old Billy Ho uh, spin on it a little bit. I think Morikawa is going to be the highest, 22 to 25%. Daniel Berger, I think, is going to be a little over 20%. Shane Lowry right around there, 20%. Adam Hadwin is going to be probably the highest owned 7,000 guy at 18 to 22%. Uh, Fitzy uh, is going to be probably 18%. Henley, somewhere in Henley's always popular, somewhere around 20%. Henley. Uh, Webb, not as popular. If, if Webb was normal Webb, he'd be probably the highest owned 28% guy because he is the course horse for this place, definitely. But he hasn't been full on web like we like, so lower about 17% to me. I think he'll pick up a little more ownership than people think. And uh, Alex Noren is looking kind of chalky, 15%, 16%. And both JT and Corey Connors, I, I have about the same, 15%, 16%. And it'll depend on the contest, really. Uh, that's, but that's all of that. Uh, there, were, there was some late additions to the pool. And here I brought up a 12-round sample. So over the last month and a half or so, uh, Dylan Fratelli's showing signs of life, uh, and he's going to be really low on, 5 or 6%. Strokes gain approach. Whenever Dylan Fratelli's got his approach game going, he's, he's a good guy to target because he can always chip and putt when he gets hot. 7,400 is a good price. Uh, the other guy I was looking at, was uh, down here, Svensson, 6,400. And uh, you remember him from a little earlier in the year. He made a couple of nice runs. But this is kind of a good course for him because he's accurate and short off the tee, and uh, and he's, he's just not very good putting. So with these smallest greens, I'm really hoping he can get some in there and just make the cuts all you need. I think he'll score you more than enough. Uh, the other guy down here was uh, Bryce Garnett. I kind of caught on to him a, a couple of days ago. He's uh, he's actually got the best record course history wise when you look at Gers gained and good drives. That's a pretty good combination to me uh, for a guy that, and that's over like the last four or five years. So. I think 16 round sample size. Uh, so I, I'm digging that. And uh, to wrap things up, I am going to be trying a little bit of a new strategy this week. I'm, uh, I'm taking a 10 lineup uh, approach where I'm going to lock in three players that I like in all 10 lineups and then sprinkle. So it's kind of a modified core cascade, mini cascade, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, but I'll be sure to let you know how it pans out. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. 
And I did want to tell everybody to like and subscribe to the channel. Need them subs, baby. Let's go. And uh, good luck this week, everybody. And until next time, peace.